Hello there! In this video, we are going to take a look at the armor pieces I used to create a great shock tea inspired look in Star Wars Your Republic. Stick around until the end of the video, where I will be showing you where to find more of my videos just like this one. I'm Eleva, and this is my What Am I Wearing Wednesday series, where I show you what I am wearing in Star Wars Your Republic. If you're new here, then make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on my top tips for some seriously good looking outfits. Let's get started! To create this look is actually not too difficult. I start out by using the revered master's robe with a dark brown and medium brown dye module in. It is of course to recreate that traditional Jedi robe look. Long garments with a big flow in it that is easy for combat. Then I'm using the covert energy armor for the wrist and for the hands. Solely because Shakti is not heavily armored, she always has bare hands. So it fit best for her. For the belt, I have chosen to use the formal tuxedo belt. I have chosen this because it fits very well into the color as well as it is sleek, simple and very elegant. It fits very well with the lower robes. For the lower robes I have chosen to use the ceremonial pants because it fits into the color scheme with a lighter brown color as well as you have that stripped down with the nice patterns that's very elegant and fits very perfectly for the Shark T Clone Wars look. Last but not least, I am using the Noble Counselor's boots. I love these boots, they fit for most of my outfits, they're sleek, they're simple, they go all the way up to the knee, they fit for basically anything. So of course I've chosen these. You can choose whatever as long as it's a simple boot with not too much fiddle faddle on. I of course can't have a shark T look without covering the outfit she's wearing in The Force Unleashed. This is very different from her Clone Wars robes. It doesn't cover as much of her body as it does during the war. It fits better to the environment of Felucia where she is in exile. For this look, I am using the Jarl's tunic. It is of course for the bare arms, the loose fit and the white collar. I know in a lot of the artwork and even in the game it's not completely white. But in this game it feels like it's closer to her look when you keep the white collar that is in contrast to her red skin collar. So that is the sole reason I have chosen to keep it in the white color. Then I'm using the Covert Energy's bracers. Again, she's not heavily armored and she never was, so we're still going with the no bracer look. Then I'm using the Sozan's handguard with a secondary medium gray dye module in. This is a craftable die module, which means you can craft it yourself through artifice or buy it cheap on the GTN. I have chosen this specifically because of the spikes on the arm. I know it's on the opposite side, doesn't matter too much, but it's the spikes on the arm that is perfect for defense and offense in itself. I'm also using the Sosan Sash just to get the fabric. She's not heavy armored. It's basically loose cloth that's just covering her. Then I've chosen to use the Jory Darragon's loincloth. Fits very nicely in the name. It is a pair of underwear, basically. She is not covered by much, but she still wears underwear. Last but not least, I am using the Tattered Mystic's boots. You can purchase these with two recovered relics that you get from the flashpoints Corbin Incursion and Assault on Titan, part of the Forged Alliance storyline in Shadow of Revan. I have of course chosen these because it is it's basically wrapping around her feet. They're still barefooted, but it's to give some sense of shoes even though it's not shoes. It fits so perfectly into this look as an overall. 
If you're interested in knowing what character customizations I'm using to create a Shock T character, both from the body type, the face, skin color, patterns, etc., feel free to pause right here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up, and I would love to know how you will create this look, so please let me know in the comments. Finally, I would like to thank my patrons for their continued support. If you would like to become a patron for as little as $1 a month, then links and more details can be found in the description down below.